Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail camera security cameras and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows, and strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, Buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. The growing trend of animals walking on two legs is really fascinating. It makes you wonder if somehow we humans are influencing this behavior. In a recent instance, a trail camera in the woods snapped photos of an animal walking upright on two legs. The camera caught two images, and in both, the creature is clearly seen standing and moving like a human. At first glance, the trail cam owner thought it was a raccoon. A bit of a mix-up, but understandable. However, when you look more closely, it starts to seem like this might actually be something else, perhaps a dog man. If it really is a dog man, this could be one of the most extraordinary captures of a cryptid ever recorded. This sighting raises so many questions. Is it possible that some animals are evolving or adapting to walk on two legs? Or are we just noticing it more? And the idea of a dog man, is it a case of mistaken identity? Or could such a creature exist in the wild? I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this. What's your take on these images? Share your opinions and theories in the comments section. While exploring the forests of Michigan, a hiker experienced something quite unnerving. They recorded a series of bizarre sounds echoing from deep within the woods. These sounds, akin to sharp, piercing shrieks, created a spooky ambience that baffled the hiker. The noises didn't match the usual patterns of sounds made by humans or known animals, which adds to the mystery. The question that comes to mind is, what kind of mysterious creature could be making such strange and unearthly sounds? The forest is often a place of undiscovered mysteries, and this incident seems to add to that mystery. Could it be an unknown animal hidden in the depths of the forest? Or is there a more logical explanation, like a natural phenomenon? The hiker's encounter certainly stirs the imagination and invites speculation. What are your thoughts on these peculiar forest vocalizations? Could they be an indication of something undiscovered lurking in the woods? Share your ideas and theories about this mysterious occurrence. This piece of intriguing footage, captured on March 9th, 2023, was generously shared by Andy Russell. Within the clip, a figure can be seen, appearing sporadically in a location that resembles a yard. What's particularly intriguing is that this transparent figure managed to trigger both the alarm and the motion sensor at the site. Now, the fact that it interacted with the alarm system strongly suggests that we can rule out the possibility of a simple camera glitch. This isn't just some random occurrence. There's definitely something or someone there interacting with the surroundings. But does this give us enough reason to jump to the conclusion that we are witnessing a ghostly presence? Or might there be a more straightforward, perhaps more earthly explanation behind this peculiar sighting? So what do you all think? Is there a logical explanation behind this mysterious figure? Or does this clip provide a glimpse into the unknown, suggesting the possibility of a presence from the other side? I'm eager to hear your thoughts, your theories, and your perspectives. Keep in mind, it's all about exploring possibilities and expanding our understanding of the unexplained.
Get ready for something really puzzling. We've got a trail camera photo that's quite a head scratcher. Check out this creature. It looks like a dog, but its facial features are, believe it or not, almost human-like. Just look at those eyes, nose, and mouth. They strangely remind you of a person, but don't overlook its paws. They're an odd mix of human and animal traits. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but this image really gets you thinking. Could this be some kind of lab-made hybrid? A species we've never seen before, or is it just a trick of the camera playing with our eyes? This mysterious creature wandering in the woods has certainly sparked our curiosity. What do you think it could be? Share your ideas and guesses in the comments. Could this be a glimpse into something unknown, or is there a simpler explanation? Let's hear what you have to say about this intriguing woodland cryptid. Talking about things that might not be quite what they seem, I want to know what you think about this video. It shows a creature that seems to have the body of both a horse and a donkey. I tried searching online for any animals that look like this, but no matter how much I looked, I couldn't find anything. This leaves me wondering if the footage is genuine or if it's been faked. Take another look at it. If you recognize this creature, please feel free to enlighten us in the comments. But if it's also new to you or you don't know what it is, then I'm leaning towards saying it's not real. That would mean this footage is probably some really impressive CGI work. What do you think? It seems this is just another example of those things that leave us scratching our heads, trying to figure out if they're real or just clever fakes. It's always intriguing to come across such mysteries, and it's even more interesting to hear everyone's opinions and theories. So let's hear it. What's your take on this unusual footage? I've always found Bigfoot to be one of the most intriguing creatures out there. In this clip, captured by a hiker deep in the woods, you'll see something quite interesting. Pay close attention, and you'll notice a tall, furry figure casually walking through the forest. This figure has a very unusual stride, one of the most distinctive I've ever seen. The person who recorded this video is convinced it's a Bigfoot. But is it really? I'm inclined to say no, mainly because its movements seem more like someone wearing a heavy costume. The way it walks is odd. Its gait appears strangely human, almost like it's exaggerated. However, many in the paranormal community are convinced that this is definitely a Bigfoot sighting. Personally, I'm not so sure. But what do you think? Does the way this creature moves strike you as natural or a bit too human-like? Could this really be the elusive Bigfoot? Or is it just someone in a costume trying to create a stir? I'm curious to hear your opinions and interpretations of this footage. Share your thoughts. Do you believe this is a genuine sighting or just a clever hoax? Check out this scary clip. A boy was out in a field picking up a log from the ground. But right after he picked it up, he seemed to see something really frightening. He dropped the log and ran away as quickly as he could. It makes you wonder, what did he see that scared him so much? Then something weird happened. A strange creature appeared from the trees ahead. And I gotta say, it doesn't look like any animal I've ever seen. It had a ghostly look to it. What was that thing? This encounter left me with more questions than answers. Was the boy startled by an unknown creature? Or was it just his imagination playing tricks on him? I became really curious and started looking closely at the video over and over again. After watching it so many times, I finally made up my mind about it. I don't think the footage is real. It seems too glitchy. The area around the creature is distorted. Maybe it was a black bear and they blurred it? I don't know, but I'm sticking with it being a prank. That's what I believe, at least. But what do you think? Could there be a logical explanation for what the boy saw? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Fleeing the urban chaos, many find solace in the rural calm. However, this idyllic isolation has its eerie drawbacks, especially when danger looms and help is far off. In October 2006, a YouTube user named Paul Sparrow ventured into the mysterious forest near his house, armed only with a night shot camera he had borrowed. 
His mission was to capture what was rumored to be a ghostly figure. The footage he recorded turned out to be bizarrely unexplainable. In the video, a ghostly, enigmatic figure seems to glide past the lens. Paul notices it and frantically searches the vicinity but finds no one. Despite being uploaded over 16 years ago, Paul's chilling discovery still unnerves viewers. Most believe he genuinely captured a ghost on film. Even Paul refers to his find as a spooky woodland ghost. But what do you think? Is this an authentic ghost sighting or merely an illusion? I'm interested in reading your opinions in the comments. The following entry was shared on the subreddit Paranormal by a user named Hedonistal Libertarian. Intriguingly, Hedonist Libertarian's brother unearthed an old family photo album and wanted to show it to his girlfriend. While perusing the album, they came across a peculiar old photograph featuring him, his brother, and their father. At first glance, the photo appears quite ordinary, but a closer look reveals something far more ominous lurking in the background. In this otherwise typical family snapshot, a shadowy figure with eerie glowing eyes stands in the backdrop. Hedonist Libertarian took to Reddit to seek insights into the identity of this mysterious figure, sparking a flurry of speculations among users. Many suggested it could be a ghost, a demon, or a so-called shadow person. Who do you believe this enigmatic dark figure hiding in the family photo might be. Feel free to share your theories and thoughts in the comments. Have you ever encountered a tall, humanoid figure with a white face that seemed to watch and follow your every move in the woods? This video was taken by a man who was exploring the woods. He was so captivated by the scenery that he decided to record everything. This decision led him to encounter the creature you see on your screen. If you look closely at the center of the footage, you'll notice a whitish face that appears to blink every few seconds. The man who recorded this says he's never seen anything like it before, and I believe him. We haven't seen anything like it either, which makes it tough to identify. If this creature wasn't captured in what seems to be a tropical area, I might have guessed it was a yeti. But we all know yetis are typically associated with snowy regions. So, what could this creature be? Since we're on the topic of wild cryptids, I want to show you another piece of footage. At first glance, it might look like a wolf, but take a closer look. Notice the features that make it seem more like a cryptid. You don't have to be a scientist to see this isn't just a regular wolf. My guess? It could be a werewolf or a dog man. Look closely at the image. The facial expressions, its limbs, and the way it's looking at the camera. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Could these be real sightings of unknown creatures? Or is there another explanation? Share your thoughts and theories. This intriguing footage from TikTok was captured in a hospital situated in Medine, Colombia. In the clip, we observe a lone balloon, seemingly moving with intention, floating through the hallway as if an invisible someone was guiding it along. It creates a sense of mystery as it appears to be propelled by some unseen force, sparking speculation that perhaps a ghostly child could be responsible for this eerie movement. For numerous years, both the staff and patients at this particular hospital have reported having a series of spooky and ghostly encounters. These experiences aren't just limited to visual phenomena, but also extend to auditory sensations, such as unexplained laughter or crying resonating through the empty corridors in the stillness of the night. Numerous nurses working in the hospital have recounted tales of feeling as though they were touched by unseen entities. They've shared stories of these mysterious shadowy figures making unexpected appearances throughout the various wards, leaving an air of mystery and unease lingering in the atmosphere. So, given these tales and the floating balloon caught on camera, what's your take on this peculiar footage? Does it make you lean towards believing in the presence of the supernatural? Or would you rather look for a logical explanation? The air of mystery surrounding this hospital in Medine continues to prompt questions and spark discussions, leaving us all to wonder about the unknown and the unexplained.
While driving along the edge of a forest, a family's normal trip turned into something quite extraordinary when they spotted a strange figure hiding among the trees. This creature was incredibly tall, almost as tall as the trees themselves, which left the family in awe. It was covered in dark fur and moved from tree to tree, seemingly watching the people before it crouched down. The way it looked and moved made the family think of Bigfoot, the legendary creature known for its massive size and furry appearance. This unexpected encounter sparked a wave of excitement and curiosity within the family. They wondered if they had just had a rare encounter with the elusive Bigfoot, a creature often spoken about in myths and legends. Could this be a real-life sighting of the mysterious being, or was it something else, perhaps a trick of the light or a misidentified animal? This experience became a topic of lively discussion and speculation, not just for the family, but also for others who heard their story. What do you think about this sighting? Could it actually be Bigfoot, or is there a more ordinary explanation for what the family saw? This absolutely mind-bending photograph, capturing the curiosity of many, was generously shared on Facebook by Rachel O'Donovan. When you give it a closer look, it intriguingly appears to showcase a ship suspended effortlessly in mid-air. Unsurprisingly, this uncanny sight may have stirred quite a buzz among the residents of the town. But rest assured, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation behind this captivating phenomenon. This phenomenon is named Fata Morgana, a rather mysterious title for a type of mirage. Now for those who might be wondering, a mirage is essentially an optical illusion. It's an image created when the light waves are bent or refracted as they pass through air layers of varying densities which are usually caused by differences in temperature. Imagine it like looking through a lens that can bend and distort light, shaping images in unexpected, sometimes bewildering ways. Fata Morgana being a special kind of mirage is what we call a superior mirage. Why superior, you ask? Well, it earns its superior tag because the illusion it creates appears above the actual position of the object being miraged. This occurs due to a fascinating natural event called a temperature inversion, where the air just above the ground or water is cooler than the air higher up. Picture a sandwich, but instead of bread and filling, it's cold air below, warm air above. As the light travels through this temperature inversion, it bends downwards, creating the illusion that the object, in this case a ship, is floating above its real position. This is why we call it a superior mirage, because the object appears superior or above its actual location. What's more, superior mirages have this peculiar characteristic of being relatively stable. This stability comes from the fact that the cold air at the bottom isn't prone to rising, and the warm air at the top doesn't have the tendency to descend. It's like they've agreed to stay put each in their own layer, creating a steady canvas for these bewitching optical illusions. Furthermore, the enchanting Fata Morgana doesn't just make objects appear above where they truly are. It can also bring objects that are usually below the horizon into view, albeit sometimes in a distorted or stretched form. So, that ship floating in the sky? It could very well be miles away, normally hidden beyond the horizon. This video clip shared online showcases a homeowner spending an evening alone in his residence. According to the individual who uploaded the video, mysterious sounds have been emanating from a spare room in the house, sparking his curiosity and concern. Eager to investigate the source of these peculiar noises, he armors himself with a flashlight and a camera with the intent of documenting whatever may transpire. As he flicks on the flashlight, directing its beam towards the room, an unusual dark shadow unexpectedly emerges from a concealed corner, adding an eerie atmosphere to the scene. The suspense grows as the viewers and the homeowner alike question what this shadowy figure might be. Is it simply a trick of the light, or could it be something more inexplicable and uncanny? Determined to get to the bottom of this mystery, the homeowner promptly conducts a thorough search throughout his home following this unnerving incident. 
Despite his meticulous efforts, he finds no tangible evidence of a break-in or any unwarranted intrusion. Puzzled and slightly unnerved, he reaches out to the authorities, sharing his experience and the inexplicable events that unfolded within the confines of his home. He confesses to the authorities that the strange occurrence is beyond his understanding, leaving him at a loss for a rational explanation. Without the crucial footage he captured, he realizes there would be no evidence to corroborate his extraordinary claims. The video serves as a pivotal piece of the puzzle, allowing others to witness the strange shadow and ponder the possibilities of its origin. As the video continues to circulate online, the menacing deepens. With more and more individuals trying to unravel the mystery, the homeowner, still puzzled by the event, remains vigilant, seeking answers to the questions that linger in the aftermath of that eerie night. The shared clip stands as a testament to the unexplained, offering a glimpse into the unknown and leaving viewers both intrigued and perplexed. This peculiar discovery was made on the shores of Keppel Sands and has captured the curiosity of many. In a video shared by Bobby Lee Oates, what is displayed raises eyebrows. It appears to be a skeleton that bears a striking resemblance to what one would imagine a mermaid's body structure to be like, featuring a skull that is distinctly human-like, accompanied by an elongated jawline. It's certainly not something you see every day. Bobby Lee described the skeleton as not only resembling a mermaid's body, but also having unique features. It's covered in hair and possesses a long limb that could be likened to a tail. Intrigued and seeking clarification, she took to social media to share the image, choosing a Marine Biology Facebook page as the platform for her unusual find. It didn't take long for the online community to respond. After the image was posted, a myriad of opinions and theories emerged in the comments. Some viewers were quick to suggest that it looks like a mermaid, evoking images of mythical sea creatures with human upper bodies and fish-like tails. The shape and structure of the skeleton led them to make this fantastical connection, adding a sense of wonder and mystery to the conversation. However, others proposed more grounded explanations. Some believed it could simply be a common marine animal, washed ashore and left to baffle beachgoers. The ocean is home to a vast array of creatures, many of which can seem strange and unfamiliar to the untrained eye, leading to misidentifications and wild speculations. A rather unexpected theory also surfaced. Some commenters speculated that the strange find might actually be the carcass of a kangaroo. The shape of the skeleton seemed to offer some support to this idea, suggesting that perhaps a kangaroo had met its end near the water and the tides had brought its remains to the shore of Keppel Sands. In the midst of all these varied opinions, what do you think this strange find by the beach truly is? A hunter is stunned when he hears these screams coming from the woods. Look, even though I'd have my rifle, I have to admit that I'd be pretty freaked out. It sounds like someone is getting murdered. But many have said that these sounds are coming from a mountain lion. Let's hear it again. Just a wretched sound. Anyhow, tell me what you guys think. While going through his footage, the owner of this trail camera has noticed something unusual. Along the tree line, there is a shadow that is barely visible in the night recordings. However, as the camera continues to record in the morning, the shadow becomes more distinct, revealing a large, brown, furry figure. The creature seems to be either hiding or sleeping. You can see their movement, so it is definitely alive. Speculations have arisen that this sighting may be of the elusive Bigfoot. 
However, a question that puzzles many is why the deer in the area didn't sense the creature's presence and become alarmed. The footage has captured the attention of many, and they're intrigued by the possibility of the existence of such creatures. Nonetheless, the footage serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still exist in the natural world and the importance of continuing to explore and learn about our environment. As you can see, a small, seemingly naked figure with a weird body is seen walking through here. Suddenly, the figure darts forward as if it knew it was being recorded. The footage then shows a ladder being pulled out from the camera's view as the creature runs out of the house. Many viewers found it funny with comments suggesting even aliens need jobs. However, I'm not real sure of the authenticity of this. Was this recording real or a hoax? Jake DeMarco, a father of two from Australia, was horrified when he saw his security footage capturing what appeared to be a ghostly dog running around with his pet dog, Ryder. The strangest part of all of this is that the backyard is fully secured with an eight foot high fence and no way any other dog could get inside. When Jake caught it on camera, he sprinted out to the backyard to investigate, but the mysterious white dog had vanished without a trace. The eerie footage obviously left him spooked. He couldn't explain how the dog managed to enter his fully secured backyard. Despite all his efforts to uncover the truth behind the ghostly sighting, the mystery remains unsolved. Now, there are a few different reasons people might install a camera near a bird feeder. Some like to observe and learn about bird behavior, so installing a camera near a bird feeder can allow people to observe and learn about the different species of birds that visit that feeder. Some like to capture photographs or videos of birds. And lastly, you might install a camera to deter unwanted animals. By monitoring the feeder with a camera, people can intervene if they see an animal trying to get at the bird seed. Well, the owner of this camera had no way of seeing this coming. As we see in the video, the hawk snatches the bird off the feeder. It was like a lightning strike. You can barely see it. As we play it again in slow-mo, look at how the hawk maneuvers through that tree. I mean, it's unbelievable. It looks normal in slow-mo, but when you play it full speed, you can almost barely notice that he has to make that move. Unbelievable. And I love the little bird that's just hanging out hiding behind the feeder, like, thank God I didn't get attacked. This next video is from Jimmy B Trail Cams. Jimmy B captures all sorts of animals on his channel. Coyote, deer, owl, his cats, someone else's cats. He has a great property with multiple cameras. So when Jimmy caught this figure walking through his property, he was a little surprised, you could say. Man, 
I tell you, I don't know if it's Bigfoot, but it's definitely something sketchy. I'll let you guys be the judge. What do we have here? I'm going to just let this video play as they narrate it for us. <laughs> He's so little. What are you doing in there? He's a fat little guy. Hey. Oh. Hey, friend. Kind of a chiller. Oh no, yeah, that's no, he's, he's, he's gonna bite you. <laughs> he's so soft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we should bring him home. All right, fine, we'll take him. He's cold. <laughs> ben, you bring him back to New Zealand. <laughs> Don't bring him home. <laughs> bring him home. Oh fuck, it's so cute. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, fuck, I cry. <laughs> I cry every time I see the bison. Go, go Lee. Yeah, are you? Oh, he's ripping. Watch how Hawk just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's fast. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine dragging a rope through the freaking. Oh, no! This is just an incredible thing to capture on camera. An incredible supernatural story here coming out of Canton, Georgia. After losing her son to an accidental drug overdose, Jennifer Hodge was watching TV with her daughter one night when she got a notification that her entryway camera had picked someone up. Here's what it showed. Jennifer is adamant that her son is the figure on the camera. A paranormal investigator was brought in and was in agreement with Hodge. There is a figure in the home that is very visible. To be 100% positive, the investigator said she would have to do an in-home assessment. I definitely have to admit, I mean, I see someone in the video. Anyhow, let me know if you guys have any experience with something like this. I find this stuff fascinating. A full-grown gaur, also known as an Indian bison, can reach 2,500 pounds and stand over 6 feet tall at the shoulder. Their powerful legs and necks are capable of generating a tremendous amount of force. The term gower is used more broadly to refer to the entire genus of wild cattle. Well, I'd say the guy in this video is pretty wild. As the police show up, you can see this guy, he's not having any of it. Just insane strength. Let's watch it again. I mean, that's just crazy. This video, taken in Florida, shows a raccoon attempting to subdue an iguana. Raccoons are omnivorous and opportunistic feeders who eat a variety of foods, including some small lizards and snakes. But this guy has his opposable thumbs full here. That's a big iguana. This type of iguana is an invasive species, not native to Florida, and can wreak havoc on the eggs and young of other native animals. The video went on for some time. The raccoon was unable to gain control of the iguana, who, the owner says, just continued sunbathing near the pool. Honestly, I'd say the owner has a bigger issue on his hands with an iguana and a raccoon hanging out in the daylight in his backyard. He might need to call someone.
nevertheless crazy thing to capture on camera. This next photo, down a dark, winding rabbit hole, I found this picture of a supposed ape-like Bigfoot. As we can all tell, this is the backside of the creature. And before I dive too deep into this one, I just it doesn't seem real to me. It's almost like a stuffed animal placed in front of the camera. I just don't know. I hate to say someone's picture isn't real, so I'm interested in what you guys think. The legs look kinda real, but I've never seen a tail like that. It looks like the tail of a giant squirrel. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of this capture. I'm leaning towards a hoax. Let's go through a little scenario. It's the dead of night, absolute darkness. The sound of snow crunching catches your attention. You cautiously emerge from your tent and are greeted by almost two dozen glinting eyes staring back at you. This is what a man's trail camera captured in the Canadian wilderness. With the wolves focused on the ground, it's evident that they are tracking a scent. Despite the motion sensor light going off, this pack of wolves remains unfazed, and their steely composure is a little unnerving. What are we doing here, folks? Do we just sit and watch? I think that's all we can do. In this next video, a man has stopped on the side of the road to film a moose when he notices something off to his left. The moose is obliviously standing there and the rake is on the left side of your screen. A rake is a type of cryptid that is said to resemble a hairless canine with an elongated body and limbs. The creature is usually described as being very fast and agile with sharp claws and teeth. The name rake may have originated from the creature's alleged habit of using its claws to rake or scratch at the ground or trees. Reports of the rake are often associated with sightings of Bigfoot or other mysterious creatures. Researchers have speculated that the rake may be a type of genetic mutation or a new species that is yet to be formally identified and classified by science. What do you guys think he's doing out there? 
This clip shows quite the mismatch here, as a coyote has wandered onto a residential porch where he meets the family cat. Despite being only half the size of the coyote, this spirited cat is not backing down. It's ironic the saying scaredy cat because a lot of the cats we see here aren't scared of these much larger predators. When the cat realized his luck might be running out, he scampered up the post near the roof and waited there till his owners came and got him. This next video takes place in Torreya State Park in Florida in 2012. Stacy Brown Jr. and his father were camping when they heard some strange noises. They decided to investigate. Stacy Sr. takes out his night vision camera and points it out into the darkness. And what he saw sent shivers down his spine. A massive creature with enormous hands and feet. The video shows footage of the creature captured on the night vision camera. Stacy Sr. is a former Army Ranger, a seasoned combat veteran, and he decides he's getting the heck out of Dodge. Stacy knows he and his son are out there in the middle of nowhere, and if things start going sideways, no one is coming to save them. Stacy went on to say that he's been in some scary situations, but none of them compare at all to this. Now, the authenticity of this footage is questioned by some, with a biologist saying she would be willing to bet that this was just a man in a hairy suit. But another image analyst was quick to point out that the heat signature is consistent with a naked creature. The Browns try to determine the size of the creature by retracing its steps and measuring its stride. They estimate it to be a little over six feet tall with a very large stride. Let me know what you guys think about this potential encounter. My two cents is the guys seem believable, Stacy Sr. and Stacy Jr. But at the end of the day, you never know anyone's motives. So I want to know what you all think of this. Let me know in the comments. Coyotes are opportunistic predators that are capable of hunting a wide range of prey, from small rodents to large mammals. They are known for their adaptability and versatility in hunting, which allows them to survive in a variety of environments. Coyotes are primarily nocturnal hunters, although they may also hunt during the day. They use their keen sense of smell, hearing, and sight to locate prey. In regards to raccoons, they are not a primary prey species for the coyote, however, Raccoons are generally more active at night when coyotes hunt, and it makes them a little more vulnerable to coyote attacks. And while this video looked like the raccoons were done for, the owner was happy to post that all the raccoons survived. Now, our next video claims to catch multiple Sasquatch vocalizations. Now, let's take a listen to what was recorded. I'm no Bigfoot expert, so I don't really know what it would take to authenticate this. Pretty cool nonetheless. The segment is 12 minutes long and I'll link it in the description for those that want to watch the whole thing. Our next clip is pretty incredible. This is Max, and he's up against a battle in his own backyard. 
As you can see, little old Max is surrounded by three coyotes on the turf of his Highland Park, California home. You see him standing his ground as the coyotes attempt to move in. The coyotes are very interested in snatching this cat and making a meal out of him, but Max isn't having it. He's actually a pretty big cat. No match for three coyotes, but don't tell him that. Max's owner explained that she and her husband were watching a movie when she caught something out of the corner of her eye. When she got up to check, Max was fending off the three coyotes. Very impressive. This story is a good testament to sometimes needing to bring the fight to the aggressor. Bring the fight to the bully. Show some courage and step up to the danger when they think you're going to fold. Anyhow, awesome camera footage and story, and we're glad Max is okay. A very inside look into the animal kingdom here. This mother bald eagle was perched on her nest when she noticed something and flew away to check it out. Upon returning to the nest, an unknown adult eagle followed her and landed on the tall perch, merely feet away, and he just sat there. Mama Eagle threw out some warning calls and then went to keep her eggs warm, all the while continuing to give off warnings as the intruder dropped down closer to the nest. After staying on that perch for over 17 minutes, the intruder attempted to enter the nest, prompting Mama to get up and wing slap the intruder, chasing him from the nest. The unwanted eagle kept returning, but she persistently gave off warning calls and fought him off. Eventually, the intruder figured it probably wasn't worth it and flew away. This hunter captured a rare albino turkey on his trail camera. The man said he's lived in the same area for 20 plus years and never seen one. Albino turkeys are considered to be relatively rare compared to other breeds of domesticated turkeys. While there's no exact number available, it is estimated that only a small percentage of turkeys are born with this genetic mutation. They have all the same physical characteristics and behavior as other breeds of turkey, but obviously their white feathers make them stand out. In the wild, albino turkeys are at a disadvantage because their lack of coloration makes them more visible to predators and hunters. Nevertheless, really cool trail cam footage. This still pick is just a really ironic and funny photo all around. A trail camera capturing footage of a coyote carrying a trail camera in its mouth. Good stuff right there. I'm hopeful the owner was able to find the stolen trail cam and get the footage off of it. Talk about a front row seat to the wildlife world. This clip was taken from a farm where, you probably won't believe it, but these deer and raccoons normally interact and are quite peaceful. But as this eight point buck stumbled upon a group of chubby raccoons stealing his corn, he was pretty annoyed and he was determined not to let any of them get away with it. As he loudly grunts, he pushes them out of the way and claims the pile of corn for himself. The farmer suspects the deer was just amped up because like I mentioned, these guys usually interact quite well. I guess it turns out bucks don't like to share when they're looking to bulk up for the upcoming rut. Despite the buck's aggressive display, the raccoons were undeterred and continued to try and get in on the free meal which, as anyone who has seen them diving into dumpsters for dinner can attest. But I'll leave you with this warning. It serves as a reminder of the intolerance of some male deer when they are pumped full of testosterone during the rut. Recently, in a park in North Carolina, they attacked a dog and even a person. So it's important to keep your distance during this time. This next clip is more on the extraterrestrial paranormal experience side. Because on this particular night, something really strange occurred on a property. It was a peaceful evening with stars shining brightly in the sky. Until the homeowners noticed a bizarre light beaming from the left side of their front porch camera, which went on for hours. It's unclear what this haunting light could be, but it certainly doesn't seem natural. Is it just a malfunctioning light somewhere, maybe from a stadium? Or could it be a sign of an alien visitor? 
When the footage was shared on Reddit, most online commentators leaned towards the latter. In recent years, the U.S. government has taken UFO sightings more seriously, and a new report reveals that U.S. troops have reported hundreds of sightings across the country. In fact, the U.S. National Intelligence Office is now aware of 510 reported sightings, which is over 100 more than the previous year. But despite the increase in UFO sightings, we still have no explanation for what they might be or where they are coming from. Could these lights be evidence of alien life? We can only speculate, but one thing is for sure, it's an exciting time to be alive. Are you a believer? Let me know in the comments. A couple traveling down a highway noticed a coyote just barking in the middle of the road. They figured, ah, what the heck, we'll stop and take some video. And this is what they caught. Look at how huge that mountain lion is. Wow. I'm just going to leave it at that. If you've been following my channel for any time at all, you know how I feel about these magnificent creatures. Anyhow, the coyote is pretty upset about this lion, but eventually leaves him be and heads off down the road. In this clip from last year, we see a fox climbing a tree. Yeah. Now, I didn't even know they could climb trees. Sure, I thought they might be able to shimmy themselves up a tree. Maybe that tree was on an angle or use the branches to step and pull their way up. But that's not what's happening here. This guy's running straight up this tree. I did a little digging and pulled this quote offline. And when asked the question if foxes can climb trees, the wildlife specialist says, quote, Yes, foxes are able to climb trees. While they are primarily ground-dwelling animals, they have been observed climbing trees to escape predators or to reach prey such as birds or squirrels. Foxes have sharp claws that allow them to grip onto the bark of trees, and their light weight and nimble bodies make them well-suited for climbing. However, they are not as adept at climbing trees as some other animals, like squirrels or monkeys." End quote. A few videos back, I posted coyotes climbing trees. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. But this is also very impressive. This heartwarming incident reminds us that passion and kindness still exist in this world, despite all the negativity and chaos. The guardian angel in this story could have easily just looked the other way. But instead, he heard the deer's distress and chose to help out and guide the deer to safety. A good reminder about the power of empathy and the impact that even small acts of kindness can do. A dehydrated leopard found itself in a dire situation when it got its head stuck in a metal vessel of some sort. In an attempt to free itself, he actually made it worse. The leopard struggled, but unfortunately, it was too disoriented. As it wandered aimlessly, it stumbled upon a busy road where it sat helplessly, hoping for someone to come to its rescue. Luckily, some compassionate passerbys noticed the leopard and quickly alerted wildlife rescuers. The rescue team arrived promptly and cautiously approached the distressed animal. Despite being scared and in pain, the leopard remained calm and allowed the rescuers to handle it with care. After a successful rescue, the leopard was released back into the wild. In harsh winter conditions, animals not adapted to survive can struggle to find food and navigate this frozen terrain. This lone deer was left behind. He was attempting to cross the frozen river for survival, but didn't make it. Luckily, local workers rescued him just in time, and now he's receiving the care he needs. Just an amazing camera capture. Upon witnessing a colt trapped in the muddy terrain, the group of fishermen quickly took action to offer their assistance. However, moving the 30 kilogram animal would prove to be a challenging task. Although it was hard, the fishermen persevered and employed all their strength and skills to successfully reunite the calf with its mother. 